and welcome to Sheen Satira for our first online exhibition. I am Tara Horan, a local artist and designer, and I am proud to present to you this exhibition, Kokol Amlorn, from the in-house creative collective. A group of six women, Jacintha, Jo, Susan, Margaret, Noreen and Kath, all based in County Kerry, some native Kerry women, the others who have found this little gem in the world and settled here. This group came together from different walks of life with different stories to tell. They have found a bond. With the healing benefits of art, they have found a common ground to nurture, practicing art therapy as a reality. A support group, if you like, with like-minded individuals who may have once perceived themselves as vulnerable are now, together, forming a strong group of inspiring women, showcasing their talent here today. They describe it as using artwork to work through painful experiences. One particular quote I like is from the artist Susan. I love to dance. As a child, I believed the trees danced. This mentality is evidenced through her paintings as we see how the brush dances across the canvas. Their first meeting was here in Sheem Satira, and this is where their journey began. They described the ambience of the group as very calming. We hardly spoke, but the atmosphere felt so healing. As their artworks got bigger, their life struggles seemed to consume less energy. The support group, art club, evolved into friendships between these women, a unit of strength made possible through art. Having been supported by the Arts Council and such, they are now a strong and confident collective of independent artists, and they now get to proudly present their works here at Shimsa. A great collection of fine art, contemporary installation, photography, ceramics, weaving, felting, a real creative feast. With the original intent of this exhibition being open to the public, we have all had to adapt to the current restrictions. So here we are going online. We hope in this short film of the in-house exhibition that you will be enabled to enjoy and get a sense of the journey that these women have traveled. We would like to dedicate this exhibition to the late Tom Ross, who was sadly taken from this world in a tragic accident this past November. So this show is presented to you in memory of the greatly loved Tom, whose wife Noreen is a strong part of this in-house group. Noreen described Tom as an amazing support, who encouraged her to pursue and give time to her art as well as offering hands-on practical support. Tom had great faith in Noreen and indulged her passion for collecting and gathering odd things. She says her artist friends were always welcomed by Tom into their home to stay and work. He was passionate about his own work and was equally passionate and valued Noreen's creations. Life is precious and life can be tough. But through supporting one another, we can find strength. This group proves that art can be an incredibly powerful tool in enabling this support, a subject close to my own heart. In these unknown times, perhaps we can all take influence from this. So before we show you around these inspirational artworks, I will read you this poem, an extract from Noreen's installation. An Irish Blessing, Banach, by John O'Donoghue. On the day when the weight deadens on your shoulders and you stumble, may the clay dance to balance you. And when your eyes freeze behind the grey window and the ghost of loss gets into you, may a flock of colours, indigo, red, green and azure blue, come to awaken you, a meadow of delight when the canvas frays in the colour of thought and a stain of ocean blackens beneath you, 
May there come across the waters a path of yellow moonlight to bring you safely home. May the nourishment of the earth be yours. May the clarity of light be yours. May the fluency of the ocean be yours. May the protection of the ancestors be yours. And so may a slow wind work these words of love around you, an invisible cloak to mind your life. Someday 